Hey guys, sorry if you hear any background noise. The kids are over and I think my dad is trying to teach them how to burp. So you might hear something in the background. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about why I'm a minimalist. So just to get into like a briefish backstory, uh, all throughout my childhood as I can remember, I was very, very messy. Um, I had tons of clothes and tons of toys and just tons of crap. And there were times where I could not see the floor in my room. I just had so much junk everywhere. I have a very vivid memory of my parents coming into my room probably like very late at night and they're just appalled by how it looks. So they like woke me up and had me clean it. So I was always an extremely messy kid. A very messy desk at school, messy backpack, messy, messy, messy. Then it was like a switch flipped somewhere later on and I just felt like everything had to be in a very specific order all the time. And I had this need to acquire as much stuff as I could. I thought that stuff was somehow like equivalent to happiness. And I, and I can put some pictures up here, over time, I, although I was keeping everything very clean and very in order, I acquired so much stuff I literally built like a cave that I was living in. Um, the walls were completely plastered with just junk and my desk was full of trash and collectibles and toys and just stuff. None of it was stuff that I needed or stuff that I even really wanted. But I had in my mind constructed this idea that if someone had given it to me, it had such and such meaning to it that if I got rid of it, something would happen to that person that gave it to me. And I know that that is entirely irrational, but it caused me to hoard. Basically, I was keeping anything anyone gave me, even if it was like a gum wrapper, I could not, not throw it away. So I had a ton of crap. Still very organized, but a ton. Then, fast forward to when I started college, still had a ton of stuff with me. I took a ton of stuff to go decorate my dorm with. Way too much, way unnecessary. It was so much to pack and so much to unpack and so much to take back home. It was just ridiculous and I kind of learned my lesson from that first time. My family actually moved from Florida at that time to Georgia. They moved like my childhood home, like my home with them. So while I was away at college, they moved and I had packed my stuff right before leaving and I got rid of what I thought was a huge amount of stuff and probably was, but was mostly these trash items that I'm talking about because in my mind I was like, okay, they won't, those people won't die. Um, they might stop talking to you. Don't know why I thought that. They might not want to associate with you, but that's okay because you're going to a new place anyway. And I don't know, it was just kind of how I was trying to make, make it make sense for myself and make it okay for me to throw these things away. And inside the mind of like a hoarder or anyone with an obsessive compulsive disorder is gonna sound very strange to someone who isn't part of that world. So when they moved, and I got to my new room, I had almost twice the space in there, but I had maybe half the stuff. So my stuff filled out this room very comfortably. I had kind of a lot of furniture, um, definitely nowhere near as much like crap and collectibles, but it still filled up the space pretty well. And I thought that my room was like awesome right it was the coolest place ever and i loved all the stuff that i had because it was my higher quality stuff then i went back to college and i would be in my dorm with only a little bit of my stuff from back home and i would think you know i survive here for x months at a time you know six seven uh and I'm fine, you know? I'm not surrounded by all that same stuff, but I'm still getting by day to day. I'm not missing any of those things. I don't need them in my life every day. So I started researching 
or I shouldn't say researching, I started getting interested in like YouTubers that would talk about minimalism. And these would be people like um, Raw Lyman, for example, specifically her minimalism videos talking about how you can live with less and ultimately have more, more room in like your heart and your head for life and experiences and love. So I kind of latched onto that idea and I started thinking, well, how can I minimize my life? And I went back home and I did another sort of mass decluttering, got rid of a lot of stuff. Um, and then as I'm progressing further in college, I have less and less in my dorm, less and less at home. And then I graduate, come back home, and then my family makes the decision to move back to Florida. They move from Florida to Georgia to back in about three years. So they go to move back and I get rid of a ton of stuff again to pack. So um, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm this awesome minimalist and I don't own much of anything. And it just seemed that way because that room was so big. So I move here where I am now with my family and this room is even smaller, I think, than my first one. So we get all the furniture in here and it just does not fit comfortably and I'm immediately like overwhelmed with the amount of things that I have which maybe 10 years ago I would have been like wow I have nothing you know so I'm like oh my god I have so much crap like what am I gonna do like I feel like I'm suffocating in here so actually on this channel this is my first couple of videos I made a little series about minimalism I decluttered my room I got rid of pieces of furniture like uh, Probably 50% of the stuff that I had, like all decorations, all toys, almost everything, except for things that were extremely, extremely meaningful to me, and I ended up with, I don't know, like I just have some trinkets that have been like passed on to me or I've had for like decades. I have some books that I really, really care about, um, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, you know, I have my clothes, my drag stuff, stuff for like my businesses and social media and makeup. But I don't have anything else. I don't have anything that I don't feel that I need or that really brings value to my life. And it was this like complete 180 shift from how I used to be where you could literally find me in the street and hand me like an empty bottle and I would keep it because I felt like I had to. And now I just really don't feel any attachment to objects. Even the ones that I have that I love, like this bed set for example, I bought this with my own money that I earned and all together with like the blankets and sheets and stuff it was probably over a hundred dollars. Which is, you know, a decent investment in my life. I mean, I'm not like rich. I know that if suddenly it were to disappear, I would be okay, you know? when back then if something had happened to that bottle that you gave me i would lose it you know so i definitely feel better <laughs> is an understatement i feel much more in control of like my emotions and my life and my attachment to objects and just this idea that um i can be happy without them that i don't need them that my life like i don't exist to own objects and owning more or less doesn't make me any more or less of a person. And I'm trying to focus really on like what's actually valuable and, and important in life. And it would be like my relationships, my happiness, my work, rather than how much stuff I own. Anyway, so essentially I decided to become a minimalist because the stuff was really taking control of my life and it's just stuff and it shouldn't have this grip on me. You know, so I decided that I needed a change. I needed less to feel more. If, I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but having less stuff in my life really has improved it. I save a lot more money. I don't feel like I need to buy anything. I don't feel like I need much of anything. I've never felt like I had too little stuff. There's been like literally one occasion where I had to go on vacation and I couldn't wash my clothes in between. So I had to get like two more outfits in the world and, and <laughs> I just like it. It helps me stay clean and organized physically and mentally. And I 
just really feel like my quality of life has improved a lot. And it seems like a very simple thing just to own less, but it can be really hard, but it can be really rewarding too. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed my story, that you maybe learned a little bit. If you have any questions about minimalism, please comment them down below and I'll try my best to answer them for you. Um, as cor of course, as I say in all my other minimalism videos, that the s definition of minimalism doesn't have to be as strict as everyone says it is. It's not like you have to own one knife, fork, and spoon, you can only have one pair of shoes, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. And this is my definition of minimalism. This is how I feel comfortable, just not owning anything that I don't need, don't use, don't find value in. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please check out the links in the description and support my Patreon if you can. And of course, like and subscribe. New videos every Tuesday and I will see you guys next time. Bye.